Hi, everyone. We are going to present you a project called Byte Arena. I'm Sven. I'm one of the person behind Babel. And I'm Jerome. I'm a friend from France, and I love coding stuff. So what is Byte Arena? Well, it's basically a gaming platform where uh, you don't play, <laughs> really, but you let an uh, artificial intelligence play for you. So your job then is to code the brain of a fighter bot, and we provide the bot, and you provide the brain. So what you're seeing up there is a, uh, an early preview of what the gameplay was. In the middle, you see an agent uh, shooting frantically at everything, <laughs> because it's a deathmatch, obviously. And it's, pi uh, uh, it's piloted by your code, by the way, which will be. And um, yeah, I'm not sure he's got the best strategy to win, but hey. <laughs> and I know this looks super ugly. We are working with the folks at Polygonal Minds to make this design way better. And this is what they actually look like now. Yeah, this is an actual rendering of the uh, visualization. And right now, they did a tremendous job. So check them out. OK. This is all cool, but why would you even play? Well, if you want to learn new things, um, simply if you like competition, or because, of course, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. mainly. And um, it's really simple to join us. You don't even have to configure Babel. <laughs> OK. <laughs> First, you will need to code your agent. Uh, we provide an offline tool. Uh, which allows you to uh, train your agent locally. Once you're ready, you can push your code on our Git infrastructure, and we will build an image uh, container con uh, with your code automatically for you. Yeah, so, so if you've ever used uh, platforms as a service before, this is the exact same process, right? Then you can watch your agent play on our website, because, well, feedback is very important. So that's cool and all, but what's an agent, really? Well, it can be thought of as a function that takes as an input the perception of the world he's in and gives back as an output uh, the moves he would like to be taken in that world. Uh, it can be coded in any language that supports uh, networking and could be backed by an artificial intelligence, if that's your thing, or by a simple rules engine, if it's not. Anything goes right. A slide on our. Yeah, so how does an agent perceive the world then? Well, to put it simply, he receives at the beginning of every turn an array of 2D vectors that point at stuff that are in uh, his field of visions. And those points, those 2D vectors, are given to him, uh, and that's key, are uh, given to him relatively to his positions. So he doesn't have uh, any knowledge of the global state of the world. He only knows what he can based on his perception. Byte Arena is coded in Golang. Uh, in order to run our platform, we made a bunch of open source projects. Make sure to check them out on GitHub. Yeah, they are really cool, I guess. So what's next? We would like to add uh, new game modes, like a capture the flag, or even a, re a realistic racing simulation. Yeah, realistic racing simulation, that would be yeah. nice, because we have that much right now, but yeah. And also, we would like to bring the agent perception closer to what can be found in the real world in the robotics field. I'm thinking about autonomous vehicles, where they got those awesome sensors called LIDARs or LIDARs. Right, and uh, that basically scan the world and give them a 3D point cloud of their immediate surrounding, and this could be simulated quite easily, I guess. So that would be really awesome, and also, um, yeah, we could even imagine uh, giving a feedback of visual images uh, to the agent that he then would have to analyze. But that's pretty advanced stuff. So, Byte Arena is not public yet, uh, but um, we are going to make a public release soon, 
make sure to follow us on Twitter to stay tuned. So that's it. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Jerome, Sven, thank you very much. Now we have time for questions. And I see we don't have a lot of questions. So guys, open up your phones, smartphones, and whatnot, and oh. add more questions there if you want to. Uh, so question number one, what technologies are behind it? OK, this is a really good question. We actually have a GitHub issue where all the technology we use is uh, in it. Because I won't uh, explain you all the stack we have, but it's mainly Go. Uh, we have a lot of info stuff. We run our own GitHub infrastructure. We have a website and so on, and we even use GraphQL. And so, pretty cool. The, yeah, at the core, well, your agent is executed in a container, so it's completely sandboxed. Could not get out. <laughs> sure. We hope so. So, uh, the next question, it's a positive one. What happens once a bot dies? So, it depends uh, on the gameplay mode, but in the death match, of course, uh, he responds. It's uh, basically just uh, a matter of getting the most frags in the game. Right, so it's basically just like every FPS, you know. So your mission then is to increase your uh, frag count uh, by shooting others and hiding and having strategies to dodge uh, projectiles because also the projectiles can be perceived and you can react quickly to them. So yeah. Sure. We have time for two more questions. What programming languages are supported? Okay. You can actually use every pagan la language you like, because uh, as Jerome mentioned, <laughs> we are using a container uh, system behind, behind the platform. So anything you like, you can push it. And, uh, and um, you, the only requirement is to handle networking, which every language does. So of course, we recommend you using JavaScript. Because <laughs> well. Course. And the last question we have time for, how many active players bots do we have in your system? Yeah, so right now we have something like uh, 10 to 12 people that we know that are giving us uh, feedback about mm -hmm. the, uh, the game, the infrastructure, the API, so that we are polishing things out, actually. And in the end, we, we want you, all of you. So <laughs> yeah. One last? Yeah. A lot of players. Go for it if you want to answer one last. OK, just real quick. Uh, our Git infrastructure is private by default, so you won't be able to see other people's code. But you can still um, host it in GitHub or uh, wherever you like. You just need to push on our, our infrastructure to play. Yeah, basically, if you got a, an agent and you want it to be public, of course, you can host it in GitHub and have mm -hmm. your code, source code published there. But once it's on our infrastructure, nobody gets access to that uh, clone of your repository, so you don't have to worry about uh, someone stealing your cool algorithm. Yeah. Guys, uh, thank you so much for Thanks. participating. Please give a roaring applause. Thanks. Thank you.